Good evening everyone. Happy Friday Night Live. Wanda here with you. And we are going to have a ball tonight. Haha, <laughs> see what I did there? Ball. <laughs> We're having a dress party. Thank you, Miss Katie, for the awesome idea. That is so killer cool. So we're going to be doing some gowns. Isn't that fun? I think that's the coolest thing ever. Like, what an awesome idea. <laughs> Thank you, Katie Katie. So while we're waiting for her, I'm going to grab the foils that I posted earlier this week and show those of you who didn't get a chance to see the post. Since it's Friday, and I was saying in the post that we probably won't be doing um, new foil Friday much anymore because we have tapped out the industry you guys we really have probably 85 90 percent of all of the foil out there um, that I would consider carrying so I think uh, you know we're gonna slow down and focus on certain foil like I'll do you know projects with certain foils and then we'll do focus foil and stuff like that Give me just a second. I didn't pre-cut these. Silly me. It's like having a store right in your room. <laughs> So these are the 80s foil. I think they're so cute. You know, I thought about doing them on my dress tonight because how cute would that be? Just like, you know, doing it up with the 80s. <laughs> Wouldn't that be fun? Oh my gosh, these are such fun foils. So this is totally the cool 80s. Do you guys remember Nagel paintings? And he had all these in there. Oh my God, so cool. This one has like some cool little sayings on it. I'm not seeing any comments, though I think I'm just going to go with it because last time they came on later. Anyways, this is cool. It's like a peacock feathers, kind of boa looking peacock feathers. So crazy cool. It's like a boho 80s mix. It's so dang cool. Hello. So Hi, Miss Katie. So, um, while I was waiting for you to do a, the little thing to pull me on, yeah, your voice sounded so weird. It was like your voice was really deep. And uh -oh. then when it, and then when it popped on, you know, with me on here, your voice was normal. And I was like, whoa, this is weird hearing you talk like that. I'm sorry. That's no, no, not a just good wait. Just, just wait, because I'm, I don't know. Well, I don't know. Maybe it was just my phone, but um, we'll have to go back and play it again and see if it does it. <laughs> I don't have comments and, I, you know, I don't know what that's about, but... I heard Shelly say earlier in her life, she didn't have comments either. So, like, she couldn't see comments in her life. Yeah, I don't know what the deal is. But, hopefully, hopefully we have the problem solved with the twitchy, like, blurry, depixelated side of the... I can't see, can you see comments? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, okay. Well, um, can you see me? Do I look blurry? Yeah, it looks clear. Good. That's at least a plus. And I can't see what people are saying to tell us if it's clear or not. So, <laughs> um, Beck says it's clear and sounds great. Yay. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm just Kathleen's clear. Karen Hedden loves the dresses. Bambi's clear. Cool, cool, cool. Thank you, guys. Mine is headless. I decided not to add the head and the arms, so. 
It's kind of creepy. <laughs> That's okay. Creepy I was looking stuff. through my rhinestones. Creepy's the new cool, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, so I'm trying. Hang on, I'm trying to scroll again on this thing. It's really hard. How is okay. everybody doing tonight? Are y'all ready to party? Matt yes. says you sound like Bane from Batman sometimes. <sighs> well, it's not on purpose, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> How you guys just not too far off know? from how it sounded. <laughs> oh no, really? <laughs> Okay, well, cool. <laughs> All right, well, let's get busy then. <laughs> I can't wait to see everyone's dresses, man, <laughs> and what they decided. I am. Um, I did add these in the store today, so they are available six of these blocks in a pack. Um, you can catch those just in the store now if you're wanting to stock up all your shopping for your foil. And they can take off, you know, the little imperfections on your rock very quickly. Darn it. And good to go. Okay, so I'm going to be using the new custom made cosmic cake set tonight. And I'm using it and I just took a little, this is the um, postcard size um these are one eighth pan that i send out in the postcard so if you buy a postcard for ten dollars you actually get half of a quarter pan which is quite a bit of paint <laughs> i say half of a quarter pan i don't know how much it is actually i'm just that's what i was told it was but it seems like it's about half size of my quarter pan look at that it is half size yeah. So I don't know how much that is. How much is half of a quarter? Anyways, <laughs> um, this is what I'm using tonight. And then the full size set, when I say full size, it's in the quarter pans. And that's available in the shop also. I'm seeing some people saying that this is above their level, but we there was a lot of pictures that were posted that were very very simple dresses that anybody could have done i picked this one out because i'm more advanced wanda's more advanced but there was tons of options out there for not so advanced so don't let what we're doing scare you um i'm not okay when we pick out a project you don't have to do that project you can pick your own as long as it's in the same category so you can go find your own dress whatever this is a coloring page this is from a coloring book a child's coloring book i'm pretty sure that um i seriously painted it with my brett watercolor brush just really fast so you guys will see it's not a, that hard and i'm sorry if it seems hard we can work on going back a little bit but at the beginning of the year we start out very very beginning like new beginner stuff and then as the year progresses we progress so we're in the middle of the road right now and we need to start kicking it up a notch or two for the people who are advanced not saying the rest of the year will be advanced gosh no but we also need to include those projects too yes and i Get ready to be shot. I'm using acrylic tonight. Holy moly, you're not using Wanda water cut. No, I'm just kidding, you guys. <laughs> nope, I'm not using gouache. I'm not using Wanda watercolor. I'm using straight up acrylic. I'm gonna be using um, my goldens because mine is a real basic color scheme. I have black, I have a charcoal black, and then I have like a deep red, so. Um, I don't really have a big color scheme, so I thought acrylic was the way to go. Yeah. Cool. 
All right, I do have some skin on my girl, so I gotta work with a skin color over here. So I make my skin color with neons. I grab like an orange. Let me see if I can pull these over here. Grab the red, the orange, and then some blue. And that brings it kind of down if you need to neutralize it. Ooh, I know what a strange color, right? It's not that far off. You just keep working with it until you get a color that looks. It's not going to look like skin here, but when you swatch it. See that nice pretty skin color. So that's what we're going to go with there. These two colors I have skin and then shadow. And I'm going to drop in the dark parts first. And don't forget, I can't see, I can see comments a little bit on my computer, but <laughs> they go by fast, so. Um, right now, Beck said, no, me too, to Pam's, no, don't go back. I'm learning so much with every video. Cool. Sherry Deshawn said, oh my God, those are going to be gorgeous. And Phyllis said, hi, Wanda and Katie. <laughs> Hello. Hello everyone. Happy Friday Night Live. Welcome to the jungle. We got fun and games. All right, so that's my dark. I'm gonna grab some of this one up here. So I added just a little bit of white to my black and I'm gonna make my charcoal that I will color that I want. Which is gonna be a deep dark gray but i want enough of a difference that oh what am i doing i'm already messing up i want enough of a difference that i'm going to be able to tell which one's the dark black and which one's the lighter i don't know why i had never thought of dresses but then uh debbie turkin's handy think I'm saying her name right posted the dresses and I was like we're having a dress party yeah yes I am using acrylics Phyllis you can all be shocked I'm going back to the basics to the basics of love <laughs> sing it girl <laughs> you got my first song out of me tonight. We're going. What is that? Luke and Bach, Texas. Willie Wait. and Waylon and the boys. <laughs> I just <laughs> totally made a flip flop. Sorry. You didn't like the Hatfields and McCoy. I'm a hot mess tonight, y'all. It's been a week. Okay, skin done. I'm going to work on a little bit, maybe some, maybe a color for her cheek here. Phyllis is shocked that I'm using acrylic. If y'all ever try golden, let me tell you, it's super pigmented, just like gouaches or at least the Arteza gouache, I should say. And so you don't have to mix near what I mix. That That is like way too much. I'm fired. Hello, Rhonda Chapel Vest. I'm going to say your name so Wanda can know. Oh, wait. I missed one. Nisi, waving lighter back and forth at country song. Texans <laughs> unite. Woo! <laughs> I love it. Go, Nisi. 
Jennifer said golden acrylics are amazing. Yes, I'm I'm only lucky enough to have the little tiny bottles and the little tiny set. But it does go a long way, so hopefully those little tiny bottles if I don't <laughs> if I don't keep putting way too much paint in my wells, I should have enough to make it through for a while. But with the set that I have, you can make every color. So I just have to learn to color mix, which uh, Wanda's working with me on. Right, Wanda? You're, yeah, you're doing good. I know like certain color theory because I was a hairstylist uh, and I was a colorist, but it, it's still a little bit different than when you're mixing paint and stuff like that, so I I more know what what colors to neutralize because we always got people in there with green hair mm -hmm. or brassy hair, so you would have to know what colors to tone down with. Yay, Teresa's painting without a head, too. Cool. Hi, Lisa Stam. These are the ochres that I just dipped into from the ochre set that I mixed up. I think it was last year. Ah, the blurry. Sorry, guys. I'm not sure how to get it to stop the autofocus. Well, I wonder what it's hitting on. Maybe it's your bling bling on your. No, it's hitting on my breath. hand every time I bring my hand in. Just you know. So I was trying to blame your bling bling brush. Yeah. I lose. She says these are pretty already not painting tonight, but I hope to try later. Bill says goldens are expensive, but boy, are they worth it. Hello, everyone. Lisa's still trying to pick out a dress. She's going to be late to the ball. Fashionably late, yeah. <laughs> Hi, Karen Dunaway. Hi, Allison Routson. Welcome to the party. Yeah, yeah. Dang, you're whipping that out quick, Wanda. What? Your lady. Oh. Thank you, but no. <laughs> yes. You're better at skin tone than you 
think. You whip it out super quick. Whip it. Whip it real good. Dun, dun, dun. I want some music. Hi, Bonita. She's painting tonight. Yay. All right, I'm done messing with that. Okay, let's do the dress. Yeah. Hi, Jane Cat. Wanda's just waiting for her comments to pop on. <laughs> yep. Oh, and there they went just now. I got a dancing girl from Nisi. You know, I almost wonder if it's an emoji that sets mine off. It seems like last time I saw that first too. Like that's what turned turned it. I don't know. Who knows what? <laughs> what what'll get it moving? Yeah, I don't know, but glad it's there. So these are really neat colors in the cosmic cake set that just came out you guys the paint that we just made this week i know you guys are like what some paint came out yep we snuck one in there <laughs> it's called cosmic cakes six colors here oops see these katie envisioned some cake batters and some frostings so we got yeah. red cake chocolate chocolate cake and what's the pink cake the angel i don't know anyways and then we got frostings and this is like a purple blue undertone and then a purple and a this gorgeous blue here you can wait until you see these so pretty but like it's a surprise like see it's like pink and then has a gold flash so gorgeous it's called ai pink like artificial intelligence pink <laughs> so cool so so cool I need a smaller brush. Well, that's the only thing I got was a dancing thing from Nisi. That's it. No other comments. Well, that's weird. Yep. Darn it. Did you see that one from Nisi? No, actually, nothing. It's now there's none coming through. Urgh, it's irritating. Yes, it popped up just now, Nisi. It's a very slow. No comments, but I did get the Snoopy. <laughs> very slow, yeah. Maida is just popping in to say hello. She's not feeling well. Oh, Maida, I hope you feel better soon. Thanks for popping in. Not on Friday when you're supposed to be getting ready for the weekend. Yeah, no, that's not fun. No fun. I'm just giving some shadow shading in here. <clears throat> Let 
let's see who's on. Hi, Margie. Margie. Hi, Patsy. Patsy Kinser's on. Lisa asked what everyone's doing this weekend. Well, tomorrow, <laughs> me and Wanda will be mixing paint. Oh, yeah. We're doing that. Some new sets. Lori said she'll be doing everything. <laughs> Is this Ms. Lori Derda? Or which Lori? Derda. <laughs> you know, I it doesn't even show who's on. My thing stinks, but at least you can see me, so I'm not going to I'm going to go with it, right? <laughs> that has to be a Facebook lag or something. Hi Amy McDermott. Hi, Captain Van Poole. Rhonda loves the gold in your paint. The what? The gold in your paint. Oh, thank you. Isn't that neat? Thank you, thank you. Okay, now I'm going to use the red color here. Hi, Jan Wall. That's beautiful, Wanda, already. Thank you. It's in the new set, Bex. The one that the gold's in. It's called Cosmic Cakes. It's a brand new set. It came out, what, Tuesday? Wednesday? Yeah. One of Some, those days. Sometime or other. <laughs> and it's available in Postcard Square Ups and the um, quarter pan tint. And it's really reasonably priced, so. Not saying my other ones aren't reasonably priced, but <laughs> there's only six colors in it, so, you know. Yeah. Is it? Bex wants to know, is Etsy pretty good at the shipping stuff? Like, will it know when my envelope is too heavy? LOL. I don't know. <laughs> uh, well, I am the Etsy. <laughs> so what does that mean? No, I mean, I'm not. I don't know what you... <laughs> Phyllis just ordered the square up card. Woohoo! Thank you, Phyllis. I need a bell. Ding, 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 ding. Oh, let me tell you, but Bex, it is interesting trying to stuff the envelope sometimes and getting them in an envelope that everything fits yeah and yeah it's fun we have lots of different sizes well bex is in canada right so that's even more interesting yeah. to get the things up there reasonably you know yep
the best thing for Canada people, especially if you're ordering something that's going to be expensive to ship, is to like do as much of the order on one order as you can. Like instead of making separate orders, because then you're going to have a high fee to pay every single time, a high shipping fee. If you do make more than one order, though, I can adjust your shipping. That's not an issue because we'll ship them together. Yeah. Dang it, Katie. Nope. It's interesting to me since I've been shipping stuff with Wanda to see the differences. Like they don't care what the size of the envelope is really. It's more all about the weight. I love all your orders, Allison. <laughs> what do you mean? No, I like them. Trust me, I like all your orders. Katie packs most of them, so keep them coming. <laughs> I'm sorry, Katie. <laughs> what? So we're talking about multiple orders. Oh. And, and you're like, can you guys please just order once? I'm like, no, keep them coming. 500. I don't care. <laughs> Make as many as you want. Katie packs them. <laughs> oh, and I don't, I don't mind. If I don't catch it, though, you might get more than one because sometimes yeah. I don't catch it and I'm just like, oh, forget it. Y'all are going <laughs> to get two. <laughs> yeah, I get what you're saying. <laughs> I was just playing, though, you know. I like, know. Like, ha, ha, Katie. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I get, I get the order. But you've been doing some orders lately, so. Yeah. I had a busy week and couldn't get over much this week, so. Wanda had to help me out. Actually, I think I'm going to bring it all the way down. Well, Wanda actually had to work. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, you guys. I do work. Jeez. You know that. Well, usually when I'm filling orders, she's working on stuff like um, inventory and stuff because we don't, otherwise, we don't have time to do that. Ex she's doing the extra stuff like filling the bins and just everything. Loading the foil into Etsy, that takes a long time. Yeah, you got to take pictures of everything, and then that's kind of why, you know, we have some stock from the Dollar Tree. We decided to go ahead and get that stuff for you guys, like some of the rub on transfers and stuff. We don't have the really, really cool ones yet, but um, we have some that we can get here. Anyways, I haven't got them in the shop yet because they all have to be photographed and then uploaded and then listed which is the hard part <laughs> yeah I, I have been shopping at different dollar trees i can't tell you how many dollar trees i've been to in the last few days and it's interesting doing going from dollar tree to dollar tree and seeing what certain ones stock compared to others some have all stickers some have all like those little rhinestone sticky things some yeah. are loaded with that i mean um it, it just it, it really is weird how they carry different things at different ones yeah it is weird
I love this color. Oh my gosh. I love both of these. I like this set. <laughs> so gorgeous. I had to turn, rotate my lamp because it was, <laughs> the, the gold is so bright. It was just not showing you the detail. The deets, you know? It's so bright. You got to wear shades. Yeah. Ah, uh, thank you, Nisi. She said I always get her large orders correct and perfect. Awesome. That's that's my Katie. Yeah, we've started like this double check, triple check situation, so we don't um we get some huge foil orders sometimes. There was there's a couple of ladies that buy a whole ton of foil at a time. And so we've started this whole triple check system so we make sure we get it all right. Yep, it's important. Hi, Cody Rensing. All these dark shadow business things will make more sense in a little bit because <laughs> there's going to be foil. Super cool. I feel like I'm doing one of those model, you know, when you make your own dresses and you mock up your. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Cody, not Cody, Connie. I'm, I'm moving slow actually tonight because I'm using acrylic. Now you understand why I don't use acrylic much anymore. It just takes me forever. Wanda's skunking me. Wanda's got a lot of foil coming up. <laughs> I have a little, but not a ton. I'm not going crazy tonight. No, you can use acrylic. Um, Absolutely. Yeah, it just, acrylic takes me a long time to do everything. I've, I've just found that gouache is so much easier to blend and quicker and everything. But, you know, acrylic has its place. For sure. You can use any medium, really, you yeah. know. And Anything if it's, you want. If it's something you're not sure about with foil, just set it first before you do your foil on it. You know, spray, do your work and then spray it with a matte spray. Rust-Oleum 2X matte clear is what we recommend. 
or two times clear. Hi, Jackie. Um, so it's just a matter of how you prep, you know, you do your painting, then you prep for your foil. And don't feel in a rush that you have to finish the same time as us. Oh, heck no. Because <laughs> there's many times that I don't finish and Wanda finishes. And then like two weeks later, I'm posting my picture. <laughs> That's mostly because I didn't have time to get back to it, but... I need to do a resin job really bad, a two part. I just don't have time in the the time budget right now. Not enough hours in a lifetime. <laughs> nope. So good news, y'all. Remember I was doing my trap and release? Well, the funny part was I thought I had two boys and a girl and it turns out that I have three boys and one of them was fixed and had a microchip. So um, I ran the number under the database that they gave me and it wasn't there, but there's like a big main regular database that will search and find out which company those numbers go along with. And so I found the company and I uh sent the information into the company and i got an email back so hopefully we will have a cat reunited with its family soon yay see that's that will so be cool. down to two feral kitties Okay, let that dry. I had to learn what trap and release was too when I everyone kept saying, do trap and release, trap and release. I'm like, huh, what? But I finally figured it out and here we are today. I had one boy that was already fixed and I thought he was a female. I felt pretty dumb. You can't feel dumb. How would you know? This is terrible. <laughs> this, wow. Probably, I don't know. It's okay. Can't make these lines small enough, you know? Now she has a mustache. Holy Lord in heaven. <laughs> <laughs> this went from bad to worse. Oh, my goodness. Wow. That's funny. Oh, yeah. This is totally not cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. She's Groucho. <laughs> Holy hell. Well, at least you can erase it. We erase it. Yes, I love my those pins because they are water reactive, so you don't have to live with it as long as you get to it quickly. You know, I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to do this. 
it's such a tiny details, you know. I might, you know what? I think I'm going to use my pen, my, you know, the, the pens. It's the, the pens with the funny characters on the end. I took my character off. I don't remember what it was, but I think this is smaller, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Not that that's much better. Oh, dearness. And it's okay if you guys laugh at my expense. I'm totally fine with that. This is hilarious. So maybe we need to make her one of those have a mask on. <laughs> That's funny. Mm hmm. Yeah. I don't like that either. We're going to black out her face. <laughs> And that's where tun, 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 this little tool comes in handy. <laughs> the scrapey, scrapey tool. We might not do a face. It's too small, her face. <laughs> She'll be faceless. Well, most of them were faceless on these dress pictures. Yeah. <laughs> Hilarious. Get away here. Ah. You're going again? Yeah, I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know why I did that. I just must be hell-bent on making a disaster here.
Pam Hill said, Wanda, those colors, gorgeous. Thank you. Yay. Cosmic cakes. Fun. They are. I really, really love them. I like, I need to find another project, too, that I can really expand with the purples and I had to stop an outline. I couldn't take it without an outline. I think that's where I may have messed up on this whole business is I should have lined first, you know, with the Posca or something not water reactive. Yeah. And I think I was planning on doing that, but then I just got excited because I wanted to start <laughs> doing the beautiful dress, right? Yeah. You got to remember the steps. <laughs> Lisa Stam said, your next set should be a butterfly garden to capture all the amazing summer colors. Ooh. Well, what, um, I'm trying to think when we would do, when should we? We might be able to do that. <laughs> I know this sounds crazy next spring. Because we have kind of the rest of the year planned out, plotted. I do custom orders, though. What kind of colors would you like in a butterfly garden? Like yellow and purple or like black and orange like monarchs or... Blues, green, orange, and yellows, Jackie said. Pretty. What am I going to do with this face? <laughs> Nisi said a mother of pearl to represent the wings. Mother of pearl, that, that's a hard one. For paint? Yeah. To get it to show up when you use it. We have a pearl color. But yeah, when you use it, you have to use it on not white.
You could always use a uh, unicorn shimmer on top of black. Or even some of the sherbet kisses. Hi, Jody. Oh, it's not too ambitious. <clears throat> We're little mad scientists. You should see us mixing and going crazy. You keep okay. them coming. <laughs> Is that silly? Huh? Is that silly to leave her faceless? No, I told you most of them are faceless. Okay. You guys know I can't draw, and I lost her face when I scraped it off. <laughs> so, holy moly. And I can't mess with it now because that black is water reactive. So, I'm going to go spray. I'll be right back. I'll be here. Yeah, some people do like the faceless. It looks, they like the way that looks. Thanks, Jennifer. I feel like I'm not getting anywhere, really. But I'm fixing to start with my red. Oh, it'll pull right together then, you know? Yeah. So I did some foil prep before um, we went on and ooh, I'm glad I have my fan on because that's stinky, <laughs> the spray. Holy moly. Oops, hang on y'all. Don't forget, <laughs> when you spray and activate all your water colors, don't close the case. Right? <laughs> uh, yeah, mixing yeah. up my red. I added a little bit of black. And now I added just a little bit of white. I'm so sad that the comments never came on. <laughs> I think last okay. time by now it's on. But the, the, I think we could, st everything's still clear. Yeah, it is. It yeah. goes too fast for me. To, if I'm sitting and watching it and not painting, I can catch it all. But it goes too fast for me to try to keep up with everything. I'm just spotting, like every now and then I'll spot and say something. So I think this is called Queen of Hearts or, uh, I don't remember the names of these dang foils. Holy moly. Oh, 
Nisi has a good thing to say. The Amish do not put faces on their dolls so that it does not cause envy or vanity in children. Oh, okay. See, we're Amish tonight. Cool. So I think this is Queen of Hearts. Anyways, it's uh, one foil, obviously, that I cut and manipulated. Um, I cut it into three parts, and then I pieced it together. Can you see that back here? They're just three straight parts, and then... I'm Hi, Teresa Gumdecker. There. And this one there. So that... That'll be my bottom. And then check this out, you guys. This is from the antique, I mean antique, <laughs> the Victorian set. And this is the one with the blue flowers on it. And I look like, that foil looks like this. And I just cut out the parts that I wanted, put them there. And then this is from not Area 54, but the other one with all the different things in it. I'm trying to pull it up here. Oh my gosh, I'm terrible, you guys. I have too many foils in my brain. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm trying to find it. Hang on. Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. So this one is from this guy. So it's got all the different ones on it. Cool. So these are going here. And I've cut the mesh out that I wanted it there. And then this one, I'm going to use gems, gemstones, rhinestones, whatever I can find in there. Maybe a foil. I don't know. If I use a foil, it'll probably be like. She's going to use diamonds. <laughs> right. Maybe peacocks. Actually, I might use the peacocks in there. And some rhinestones. I think I'm going to use the peacocks in there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Or and should so... I pick one up and make. Some jade. <laughs> okay, I'll stop now. <laughs> you cracked me up. So I'm going to start with um, these very detailed ones and then work, you know, work my way down. Teresa, if you need help, I can always like do a one on one with you. Uh, on messenger or something if you need help with your foiling figure out what's going on just holler at me Checking my batteries. Hi, Kathy Spitz. I saw you just pop on. Hi, Lyra. Hello, hello. I forgot a whole line right here. I'm so weird. To... Sorry. No, go ahead. <laughs> I ordered the same size gloves as last time, and these are like a mile bigger. Way big. I might have to order another, like, different mediums or something. These are large, extra large. Oh, yeah, you needed medium large, or medium to large. Well, the box last time said large, extra large. So. It did? 
Yeah. I'm just going by what it said, but it doesn't mean anything. They could have sent us the wrong ones, you know what I mean? Yeah. They said you could have shrunk. Yeah. Oh my God. If you only knew my eating habits, you'd be laughing. I'm a 3 a.m. eater. <laughs> There's no way I'm going to drink. And I'm okay with that. So y'all saw what I did. I mixed a little bit more of the black to get a deeper, darker color. <laughs> And this is all working with the same red and black. I didn't have to add anything. That's beautiful, Katie. It's coming along. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, so to do this, firstly, firstly, <laughs> I got a Katie word. <laughs> Katieism. Yeah. You're, you're learning. Woo. Ooh, you can see where I use the neon <laughs> on the skin. Woo, right. <laughs> so, firstly, we're going <laughs> to put the corset on. And then add some foil around it to make up the space out there. You'll see what I mean. Okay, wish me luck that I get it on straight. Oh my gosh, please don't fall off. Please don't fall off. And need a buffer brush. Believe me, those things using the wrong side of your foil has all happened to us. Oh, yeah. You know how to do the foil test, right? <laughs> I do. I don't know if you, they do. The tape test. The typey test. I'm going to use some polka dots on the rest of the dress. Oh, those are really big polka dots. Dang. Let's see. Let me see if I can use these areas here. So if you want to use areas of foil that, you know, little tiny areas in here, you need to cut away the pieces that you don't want to interfere with your work or you'll be... You know, you'll have flowers. Well, you don't want flowers. <laughs> so hang on, let me fussy cut this and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm going to put these polka dots on the side of the corset because there is glue there. Cool. And then I'm going to put this on this side. Grab my tweezers and take off this foil. <laughs> Maybe. Hang on. Tweezers got bent. Yes. Look at that. Perfect execution. Yep. Nice corset. Yeah. All hand cut. Nice, nice, nice. 
Oops, 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 oops. Sorry, got excited. <laughs> yeah, think. That's how I'm in the club. <laughs> We're going to do the same thing here. Trying to leave some spaces where the folds are at so that it gives like some definition. The bubbles out and cure. I can't see the comments. Sorry, guys. Oops, I was holding it too close. Darn it. You're the master of foils, they say. Oh, well, you know, if you're praising me, I need to know that. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Jody says she likes that brush better than her disposable. It looks like the longer bristles. I'm not sure what we're talking about here. Your brush that you were using. Which, which brush? <laughs> Are we talking about this? The um, this one? I'm thinking that's what she's talking about. That is a disposable eyeliner brush. It just has a clear handle. These are by eBoot, and they do have a longer brush on them and a pointier brush. I have to re-glue here because I got a little crazy with my light. See the wrinkle? <laughs> I put it right on top of that. I don't know why I keep doing that. I did that last time, too. Sorry, guys. I switched to a point three in my Copic Multiliner because it was a little bit too wide i was wanting a smaller line but not as big as posca was giving me i wanted the outside to have a thicker line so i used posca on the outside but then um, i switched to my copic multi-liner point three And I'm just doing some finer detail work. So if you guys see that your foil wrinkled, don't put your foil on it. I mean, your foil glue wrinkled, don't put the foil down. Put re-glue so that you get a nice, you know, transfer. If you put the foil on it, it's going to not go in the wrinkles. You know, it'll be a mess. Take my word for it. Yeah, just scrape that glue off. Start over. Me? No, I was... Oh. You don't have to. I mean, I do usually when I mess up royally. I think I could save it. But, yeah, definitely. All right, here we go with the second micro detailed. Oh, yeah. Okay. So this one I want right under the... Course it straight down there. Uh, 
And then around the edges of that one, I think I want some beehive. Uh, what's that called? This stuff? Honeycomb. Yeah. Cutting out the flowers so they don't mess with my design. And using the edges. And I'm going to do the same thing on this side. I got a slip of my water. Yes, I am only having water right now. Good girl. Not sure why that's good, but good girl. <laughs> Cool beans. Though I don't necessarily <laughs> like where I put that line right there. It kind of looks like she's a little nugget under there. But Jay's. <laughs> oh well. Okay. Next in line is this one. And I'm going to skip. Skip the bottom part because I might. I don't know what I'm going to do down there yet. I'm not sure. The border. Yeah, I got to fix that up there too. I think I might do this one in sections. Yeah, I'm going to. What do you think? What, which part? About the design. No? Yeah? I think it's cool. Okay. If it passes the Katie test, I'm good. <laughs> oh, I'm nobody. Uh, you're my body. Buddy. My buddy. <laughs> Not my body. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you're my buddy. <laughs> You're my bed bed. Eek. That was weird. My body lies over the ocean. Excuse me. I can't see comments, but I'll bet you you're getting in trouble, aren't you? I can feel it. A little it. bit, a little bit. <laughs> I, I just knew it. I'm sorry. I didn't exactly mean it that way. It was just like, I'm 
what I really meant to say is that it's not really just up to me. Like I'm not, I'm not like the knower of that, all that. <laughs> I, I'm not the knower of that. I love it. That's, that's my Katie Roo Roo. See, see, Katieism. Yep, yep, I have lots of them. I drive Wanda crazy with my Katieism. No, I love it because it gives me bigger vocabulary. <laughs> <laughs> you know a lot of that started when i met my husband because um he's like he used to be like super stickler about stuff like that and you say it right and everything and so i i would mess with him all the time by saying stuff wrong and it just kind of became my thing that's so funny because my husband was like that too <laughs> He was very he was kind of strict about, I know you said, you're like, strict? What? He bosses you around? Yes. Yes, yes, he does. <laughs> yes, he's the boss for sure. He knows it. <laughs> but I need that in my life, you know? Sometimes you just know when you need a boss in your life. <laughs> Ask Katie, I can't not have somebody telling me what to do. It's awful. So, Katie's my boss. <laughs> no, uh, I'm not the boss. I'm not the boss of you. Well, I'm not the boss of me either. <laughs> Somebody has to take responsibility for me. <laughs> my husband is on, he said he retired, so <laughs> he doesn't have to babysit no more. <laughs> Pam Hill says she's never been a leader. She's a great follower. That's me, too. I Really, honestly, this thing, this thing here with all of you guys, oh, my goodness. I never in a million years would have dreamed that I'd be, like, hosting a an art channel. <laughs> you know, like, it's totally, wow. Nope. Got to have a boss for that business, right? <laughs> So, I just, I don't know, kind of act like I know what's going on sometimes, and Katie's the boss. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> hey, she has the spiral. <laughs> Only she, because I cannot keep up with all the she, giveaways and everything. <laughs> she has the Katie and Wanda Bible. <laughs> And let's hope I remember to write in it. Oop, let me get the small piece here. Hold on, dang. Okay. I messed that up. I'm fixing to fix it. I'm fixing to fix it. Me too. I'm patching. Ooh, Katie, that's awesome. Look Thank at you. that, y'all. Mm -hmm. I should have just chopped her head off. <laughs> I like that no head business. More like a mannequin. Okay, next. Oh, my hands are sweating in these gloves. <laughs> when they're tight on my hands, they don't sweat like that, you know? I'm just squishing around. Ew. 
I gotta get this camera out of my face for a minute so I can draw these lines and not get them all wonky. Okie dokie. Oh, I don't think I decided what I want to do there. Mm. What am I doing? What am I doing? Peacocks, right? Yes, peacocks. Let me double check and see if that looks okay. Do we want them this way or actually I think they need to go this way. Yeah. What do you guys think of that? Oh, you can't even see that. Jeez. Hang on. Okay. I can't see comments, but what do you guys think of that? Let me get my computer. They're talking about finger caught. Okay, time out. <laughs> what do you guys think of that? The peacocks in that next layer. That looks great. Beautiful, Wanda. Okay. I like Thanks. the feathers, but the middle is bare. The middle is bare. Oh, here? I'm going to be, I'll put some rhinestones in there. What do you think? Beautiful, love it. That's pretty beautiful. Looks great. Duet, Lori Derrida says. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I see, I told you I need a boss. <laughs> you guys back, boss around. I love it. <laughs> back to finger cots, which I had to really say finger cots because I don't usually call them that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't and it's like I almost said it wrong and I was like nope girl <laughs> sorry well they definitely don't look like finger cots <laughs> so now I'm gonna take some lighter Why do they call them cots? I don't know, because I'm sure the other word was not full. Well, I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with the word raincoat. I have no idea what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> a finger cot is like, it's like a finger from a glove that's rolled up. <laughs> so, like, you would only put the fingers on, like, pinch the tip and slide it down. <laughs> I can't even breathe. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> like, you can say it, LOL. <laughs> <laughs> on them okay just spit it out girl <laughs> hey Bex we're having fun <laughs> that's all that matters <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, I get the 12 year old giggles <laughs> <laughs> um I'm gonna use a blender brush I'm gonna whip out one of these that one is gave me but gotta figure out which one I want to use and I'm gonna use a dry brush with a little bit of this lighter gray because I just want to have a, a little a little smudging smudging
That was so funny. Y'all cracked me up. Oh my God, just say it already. <laughs> you never did. I did. <laughs> well, I don't want to, you know, make someone upset if, by saying that word. Oh. But see how much just that dry brush and a little bit lighter gray, it just brings yes. the dress to life. Yes. Yes. Cool brush, huh? Yep. Someone sent me something that I got. Uh, I think they sent it to me in Messenger, and I briefly looked at it, and I don't even remember who sent it to me, but it was something about pickle Mountain Dew. I hope that's fake. Mm -hmm. Please tell me that's fake. Why? Pickle Mountain Dew, that's just weird. So it'd be like a lemony, slimy pickle. Is that what flavor Mountain Dew is? Yeah. Oh, blimey. No, pickle beer isn't weird. I have not been able to find that Shiner seltzer that's pickle. Um, I've looked everywhere. I don't think it's available here, which is weird because Shiner's in Texas. So I don't know what the deal is with that, but I want the Shiner seltzer. I look everywhere I go, and I looked online, too. Something is not right here. I need to bring this out just a little bit. I think that's better. I brought this top part out just a little bit. I don't think I had it right to begin with. It just wasn't looking right, but now it is. How's everyone else doing? Is anyone else painting besides us? Sorry, I'm concentrating. <laughs> no, I'm just trying to get, add to some conversation here. Joan Albert says, coming right along. Lori says she's just hanging out with the. No Lori dress. Oh, I know, Laura. You got to do one and turn it in later. That's it. It's an assignment. Uh, Lori, you posted such an awesome one. I thought you were going to do that one. <laughs> oh, it's a burnishing brush, like, like the ones that Wanda has. I have those black ones coming. So they'll be here 
soon. So the same like this? Yeah. Yeah, and I have a set somewhere in this house. But this was the first that you gave me. Yeah. Right now she has cool colors though. <laughs> See, my OCD is kicking in right now. I just need to stop or I'm never gonna finish. Look at that, you can't even see the seam. <laughs> well, okay, maybe a little, but not much. Whoop, whoa. Okay, where did I put my special one? Oh my goodness, where did it There it is. Okay, this one is going to be fun, fun, fun. Go there. Does she look like debutante at the ball? Lori says she has a dress picked out, but not sure she can recreate it. All right. Time for oil. Yeah, hooey. I gotta get some glue out. Now I'm just using the foil that I want to. I didn't really have a foil that matched what she has, so I'm kind of just doing my own thing. Ah, I think that one's empty too. <laughs> oh, whoops. How many empty jars does Wanda have? <laughs> of nail glue? glue? Yeah. That's I funny. Like I'm going to turn them upside down and drain them. You know what I mean? <laughs> but... None. Face foil. Jennifer said face foil would be handy. <laughs> I have some foil with faces on it, actually. Ooh, wait. Should we Picasso her face? <gasps> Guys, look, it's about the size of her dang face, too. Look, <gasps> I'm so doing it. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Is that not perfect or what? I know. So we could do that one or this one. I forgot about the face foil. Oh, look at this one. This is in the gold, the new holographic gold set. Like the crazy fun one. There's a side view face too. <laughs> I mean, that won't work for mine, but... There's like so many faces and it's perfect size for her. Oh my gosh. How did this? Oh, can't even believe we missed that. It's going to turn her yellow, but I don't care. <laughs> I totally got distracted here. <laughs> I heard face foil. Whoops. I got to get that off. Here. Thank you. Thank you, Jennifer. Where's my torch? Oops. <laughs> my torch Oops. is missing. Uh-oh. Can't do four without the torch. Oh. Hear me? I'll be back. Okay. Does anybody like the smell of alcohol? Like, out, out rubbing alcohol? 
I don't know why, but I like that smell. That's terrible, but. Yeah, I'm one of those people that likes the smell of those pens and some gas and weird things. <laughs> why, I don't know. Rocks and dirt, too. Love the smell of that. Maybe it's, I'm anemic, so I get very low iron sometimes. Maybe. Well, I didn't find my torch, but I found a pickle beer. Well, hell. Are they even in the same room? <laughs> yeah. I have a fridge in my room. Oh, that's right. There it is, right in front of my face. So someone asked a while ago, how do you know how long to leave the light? You'll get a feel for it once you do it, but really it's just like, what, about 20 seconds maybe? Yeah. You just want it to where it's tacky. Sometimes it feels done and you put your foil on and then it's kind of gooey, so you can put the light on top of your foil to finish curing it, like you've seen me do a few times here. So... I just happened to look over at my computer and I saw, I wish I could smell anything but poop. What did I miss? I don't know. Oh, were you Is guys it... talking about my, I asked him if um, anybody likes the smell of alcohol. I'm weird. I like the smell of rubbing alcohol. I kind of do too. <laughs> wrinkled my foil again. <laughs> How do you keep doing that? I don't know. I keep, I think it might be my light. I might have to change my light. But look, see this side over here wrinkled. And this side's perfect. Yeah. Uh, Are your batteries dying already again? Probably. I just changed them at the beginning of last live, but I could kill them in one live, that's for sure. Shoot, I don't want to do this again, but I can't risk that. Petrichor is an amazing smell. What is that? I don't know. I like amazing smells, kind of, sort of. I thought I had an amazing smell, and I... My smeller's different since I had COVID. Anybody else got a different smeller now? <laughs> Christy says she can only smell poop now that she's had COVID. Oh, that's what you mean. You know what? It's funny because now I kind of think I know what you mean. I like have the innate sense to seek out the poop piles you know, from, we don't have dogs, but my neighbors do. And like, I could tell you where they're at from four miles away. <laughs> yeah, she does. She's like, it smells like poop. And I'm like, I don't smell it. I never even thought about that. Dang, Christy, I think you're onto something. Here we go again. Yeah, I'm way far away, so it better not wrinkle.
I like the smell of pickles. <laughs> Vinegar you like. Yes. Pickles! Katie got pickles. Today. For me. Because I'm out. Well, for me to feed her. <laughs> I bought my own pickles to take to her house today. <laughs> That's right. That's more like it. Uh, uh oh, did your light burn out? No, oh, okay, I got it. My can didn't want to open. Oh, oops. Oh, God, that's good. Y'all just don't know what y'all are missing. I think it's this one and this one, right? Sorry, I'm talking to myself. I can't remember where I set my. There they are. Are we at the same place? What are we talking about? I don't know. Beck said, are you guys at the same place? At the same I don't know. house? She might, I don't know if she's talking to us or someone else. Oh. Oh, you know what? Her and Jennifer are talking. They're both in Canada. Oh. I know that. Cool. Me and Wanda, we live about 40 my 45 minutes 40 45 minutes apart I will be at her house tomorrow filling orders and mixing paint and taking my pickles <laughs> I'm just playing they only it's had four less two and let me tell you they keep redoing Sam's and I walked around and walked around and was like, where are these dang things? And I finally found them in the lunch meat. Oh, and there was four. I was like, oh, we almost yeah, they, didn't get pickles. They have a new section too, like the new refrigerated section, like yep. um, for produce. They kind of copied Costco. They didn't kind of copy Costco. They did. <laughs> they full on. Yeah, they have a milk section too. Well, milk and eggs and creamer yeah. and all that. I mean, I like it, and it's very, very cold in there. Very cold. It's nice in the summer. Let me tell you. Hey. So I'm going slowly, and where it doesn't lay down perfectly, I'm making it. <laughs> Diane Icarella asked, are we making the sherbet kisses again? We will be making some square ups, I think, right? Um, not certain. Maybe, yeah. The full size sets, um, it's going to be a while. We have that a pigment. list of colors that we've got to do. And that pigment is the lead time on it is long and it's expensive so I gotta prepare you know that came out okay yeah yeah Woohoo! all right let's look at this face all right are we doing this one with the gold feather Oh my gosh, I can't even believe how well those fit. Look at that. Can you see it, Katie? Yeah. That's wild. It is wild that it's like the same size. That one looks sad now. <laughs> I think I like this one with the feather. Or right, let's look at this one. Ooh, this one's good. Yeah. So it's between this one and this one. Probably the other. Oh, wait, this one's pretty too. This one, right? This is the one we decided? I think so, yeah. Everyone's saying the first one. 
that was this one. This is the very first one that I showed you guys. Those lips are so big, though. I know. <laughs> oh, wait, I'm sorry. It was this one. No, no, never mind. Shoot, I don't know. I wonder if there's more on that roll. Hang on. No, that's it. The second one? Okay, so that's this what's, one. What's the second one? Is that the one y'all are talking about? Okay, I'm going to leave it up. Eyes open. Very good. This is the only one with the eyes open. Yes, everyone's saying yes. Okay. Okay. Here we go. So this foil is in the gold set with the new mermaid, the gold foils, the new mermaid ones. And the polka dots and, and the all star. kinds of stuff. Oh, there's no, yeah, there is polka dots, I'm sorry. Yeah, and it has this one in it. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> so, I might have to do her body, like her skin, with something in this uh, foil so we can match it. Because <laughs> it'll turn her face, like, brown. Well, you know. Thank you, y'all. I finally found a use for the white lacy foils. Ooh, that's awesome sauce. Woohoo. Go girl. Hi, Betty Lewis. She says she's late. Never. I can't even believe how good this is going to fit. <laughs> now my comments are working. Just now I see hello Betty and hi Betty. Yep. <laughs> how funny. Okay. Oh my gosh. No pressure here. Uh Yeah, that's the hard part. Ah. I think I did it. <laughs> I don't Hi, think I could. I don't think I could have sized this better had I worked on it. <laughs> I guess I'm going to be uh, packing some gold foil tomorrow, huh? Look at that. That totally fixed the problem. You At know, least I even... Even if you didn't want to use that as the as the actual face, it would be a great base to put on, you know? Mm -hmm. And then work on that on work on it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Let me see what's in this foil that I can use for her body. I could use the lace. Yeah. On her arms and stuff. Like see the lace. It'll be like a, yeah. Hey, is that kinda... what you're using? No, I, it almost looks the same, but no, I see moons or something in that one, but it almost looked like the white one I was using. <laughs> really? This one? Uh, look what I did. Oh, so right backwards. On. Oh no, 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 no. That'll take your paint off. Oh, Only God. a little bit, just a little nib right there. Oh God, you're, so you're good. You're See, good. See y'all, it happened to me. <laughs> <laughs> I 
It happens to everybody. Yeah. Now I got a remix and the chances of me getting that same color is pretty nil. I don't know what to do here with the rest of her body and all these things. Um... I'm trying to angle it to where it gets mostly empty space, you know? Ooh, I think I got it a little bit. And it'll look like she has a little tattoo. Or two. Or ten. <laughs> Actually, I think I can, you know, cut it. So this will be an arm. Yeah. an arm right there. Now I gotta wait for that to dry. Lace? You guys think the lace really? Okay. Just do the lace. It's kind of busy though. Okay. You win. You win. I don't want to. <laughs> the lace wins. Were you singing do what? No, I was singing that Ed Sheeran song. For some reason, something that was said, it popped up in my head. I'm in love mm. with your body. Oh. <laughs> I'm in love with the shape of you. <laughs> But now I got do a uh, do a uh, do a uh, ditty. Something about the boy from New York City. Do a uh, do a. Uh. Boy, we went totally in opposite directions. <laughs> Stupid. Freaking glue. Talk about the boy from New York City. <laughs> now you got it. Uh, Pam singing it, and then Phyllis says, "Do I diddy diddy dum diddy do?" <laughs> diddy dum diddy do. Do I diddy diddy dum diddy do? Looks good. Looks nice. <laughs> Ugh, I'm at a loss. Round number two.
That was my last one too, and I messed it up. Well, no. it wasn't my last one, but my last one on the white lace. Oh, what is going on? Well, I'm going to cut another piece because that one's pretty used up. Why? This did not work at all. Hmm. I'm having to hard scrape the foil to lay it on there, which shouldn't. It's n not the foil. I think it's because I double glued it and missed some spots <laughs> like totally on the shoulder whoa weird looking <laughs> but okay well you said it was probably gonna be yeah Have a good night, Christy. I hope you feel better.
Oh, I love that. That was one of my choices that I brought in here. The oh, really? One. Oh, yeah. 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 I thought I about wish him. the design was a little smaller, but uh, I'm just going with it, trying you know to pick what? out the smaller pieces. I might actually rub out that um, peacock in there and then put this in there. It looks really good because now that I have the gold up everywhere else. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. So it would tie in the new gold stuff. There we go. Get off of there. Okay, so. Yeah, she's fully, she's got a body, uh, full, she's fully tatted. What's that called? <laughs> she's got sleeves. Yeah. <laughs> she's sleeved. All right, so I'm going to show you guys how to remove the foil. I know the peacock is beautiful, but I think I want to do this. Look. So now this gold will tie in this gold up here. And then I can do gold in the lace at the end of the dresses too now so i hope you like my idea because it's happening don't freak out <laughs> <laughs> she's not giving y'all a choice people no so this is alcohol rubbing alcohol on a swat on a q-tip and we are going to rub the foil off The glue will stay there, but the foil will come off. It takes a little, you know, elbow grease, so. <laughs> get in there with it and don't be afraid to like rub it hard you know you gotta really push down and get it oops Pretty cool trick, huh? <laughs> That's so beautiful, Katie. Thank you. You're welcome. Now I need some bling bling. Mm -hmm. I want to put ah. Big. I need a smaller rhinestone.
And then you give it another coat of glue <laughs> and put your foil on, you know, cure it, go through the steps. I'm going to have to go digging in my rhinestones. I have a gazillion rhinestones, but it seems like I never have what I need when, you when need I it. need it. <laughs> what is up with that? No, that was 91% alcohol. Oh my goodness, it wrinkled. This is weird. We should have changed the batteries. Nisi's talking to you, Katie. A texturing medium on the black part of your dress. No. I did black, I did a charcoal gray with black lines, and then I took some, um, some of the charcoal gray mixed with white, and with a dry brush, I smudged it on with this, with a dry smudger furnishing brush well it's not the batteries it's not no 
I think it's the light. Like, I think my light is old. It's not like I don't have 500 lights, so hang on. What are you using for glue on the rhinestones? I use nail glue. That's not the best thing. Don't fire me! Are you talking about foil glue or nail like glue? Foil glue. Oh. Yeah, don't do that. It worked. But I didn't see that. <laughs> you can't prove it. <laughs> what? I said you can't prove it. I didn't say it. It's stuck on there. Look. No, I'm talking about me. I'm over there swearing in the corner, but let me see. Oh, pretty. I'm not done. I jacked up a little bit. I got to fix it. I hope you're not done, because I'm, like, way not done. I'm just about done. But I gotta fix this little dotting issue I had right here. Alright, this is the last chance, so if, it's, if this don't work, I don't know what's <laughs> up. All fixed. Yikes. All right, fingers crossed. <laughs> Foiling can be frustrating, obviously. Thanks, Nisi. I'm telling you, there's lots you can do with a dry brush and a little bit of paint. I'm almost done. I just got to fix this area right here that I messed up royally. I was using a cone, too, by the way. Cool. A little yeah. famous cone. Which we have in the shop. <laughs> I don't know if you guys knew that. Did I even tell? I think I told you guys that, didn't I? Yeah, you posted it. 
think so. I learned how to make the cones for you guys so that, because they're a pain in the butt. <laughs> so, when I'm, well, I like making them. Again, like I like making paint, so I don't, I like to sit there and twist them. <laughs> I only have one made up right now because that's the one I was going to use. But the cool thing is, is like, I just leave it like that and the tip seals. And when you're ready to use it again, you just pop that dry tip out with your finger just like that. And it's ready to use all over again. That's awesome. Yeah. So fun, fun. I just need to fill more bags now. More cones. I think maybe, I don't know, my rock might be too cold compared to the heat in the air. I don't know what the deal is, but it wants to wrinkle. Yeah, like the stick, the pins. I, yeah, um, but I don't know. I didn't think it was necessary to mess with those pins because you can just pop that right out and it works so but I sent the pins just in case so but yeah you don't have to use the pins for sure I'm just going in between my silver dots with some black, tiny black dots, just to give it some, a little bit of difference there. Cause I didn't actually make like the little chain thing that they have. I kind of went off and did my own. thing. Yeah, I'm still trying to get the hang of the cones. Um, it's, it's like a pressure thing. But that you got to learn but uh, I'm getting there slowly. All right, I think I'm done. Beautiful. How are you going to seal it? Well, I'm going to let the dots dry really well tonight. And then I'll probably um, just resin it. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous, darling. I'm really wanting to add some shine, like some glitter through here somehow, but y'all know me, it's hard to leave this without some glitter. Well, bling it out. I'm sorry. You can't, you can't ask me. I'm terrible. Add more, add more. <laughs> do it, do it, Thank do you, it. thank you, thank you, everyone. I think I would add
I'm looking at my glitters right now. Your like loose glitters or glitterific or glitter? No, what? no, not loose glitter. Uh, uh I'm not le unleashing <laughs> that in my bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> What's it called? Glitter stuff you use? Glitterific. Glitterific. I'm sorry. I know. I always forget the name of it. But yes, glitterific is terrific. <laughs> I'm gonna do a little tester section. See if I like it. And I'm going to use these polka dots here. Super worked. Yes, glitteriness is a word. <laughs> it might be a Katieism. Chitty chitty bling bling. Mm, mm hmm. That's cute. <laughs> it it's a it's not gonna look good until it's completely dry. But let me go grab my dragonfly and show y'all how cool it is when it dries. That's gorgeous. Wow. Go girl. And imagine with resin, it'll smooth all that out. But that's the final. I'm, I wanted to put resin on it, though, before I take a picture and post. But when it dries, it, it, this dries clear. Well, just like the glitterific does. This is glitterific pop. 
and I'm using the black eyes. On the dragonfly, I used uh, I used um, unicorn magic on the dragonfly. Almost done. I'm pretty happy with mine. I don't can't say that all the time, but I think it's really beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, once that glitter dries, it'll be real pretty. Totally hooked on Zoo on Netflix. Yeah? No, not me. Mm. Allison said that. Zoo's awesome. And I'm not going to ruin it for you, but... <laughs> the ending pissed me off. <laughs> or lack of one, I should say. I ha I have not been watching TV. I've been reading and busy. So I'm way behind on everything. What is zoo about? Animals taking over the world. Oh jeez. No, it's good. Y'all need to read some romance. Goodness. It's good. Ah, uh, come on. I gotta let my kitty out. Be right back. Okay. Good night, Teresa. Good night. Have y'all tried the new cookie M&M's? Mm -hmm. They're pretty yummy. I might, I may or may not have bought some bought of those some. today. <laughs> I wonder who that was. That was before I knew about we were trying to be good. <laughs> oh. I didn't say we. I said I'm trying to do better. I've been eating way, 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 way too much. And I'm just trying to cut back some. I'm not going nuts or anything. I'm not really going on a diet. I just am trying to cut back on what I'm eating. I mean, I'm drinking a pickle beer, so I, I'm not really. I wonder if my 
ring light interferes with the curing and stuff sometimes because I could use different glues, different foils, and it does, you know, the same thing. So I don't know what's going on. Trippy. That's what's going on. Trippy. <laughs> All right, where's my pasta? Almost done. Oh, popcorn does sound good with my pickle beer. I made fajitas for dinner. Chicken fajitas. That's funny because I made taco salad. <laughs> Yum. Jennifer White had taco salad, too. Oh, cool. I would have loved to have done beef, but beef is like five times the price of chicken fajitas, so that's what we had. It's like six dollars for this pack of chicken thighs fajitas or twenty two dollars for this pack of beef fajitas which one do you go with right <laughs> What all did you put in your taco salad? Um, taco meat and, well, the base was spinach, leaves, lettuce, tomato, onion. Then we had queso, uh, three cheese, Mexican blend, sour cream. tortilla chips, black olives. Gosh, I can't remember everything. That sounds good. I am so shaky. This is not working out, but oh well. Jacked it up again. <laughs> Hi, guys. I had way better plans for this. That's okay. I don't know what you're talking about. I think it's beautiful. And yes, we're not just saying that to make you feel better. I don't believe you. <laughs> Kathleen Corman says it's stunning. Mm. Thank you. Allison says she doesn't know what you're looking at because you're too critical. So see, now you're getting in trouble. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. 
she's like a goth princess. At least. <laughs> oh, I she's didn't like, sign line. Y'all didn't remind me. She's like a trailer park princess. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I have nothing against trailer parks. I grew up in one, so it's, you know, it's my she thing. Did not. I did. I'm saying she's not, though. Oh. <laughs> I grew up, well, okay, I grew up on a farm next to the trailer park, but you might as well have, you know, <laughs> we all were friends. <laughs> the, yeah, see, Nisi has a good point. You switched out those foils. Like nobody's business. Yeah. So there. There she is. Here we come for the tear. Ready? Her face, the lining. That's. See? She's fully tatted. <laughs> but I do love the dress. Yeah. I don't like that. I love the dress, though. Thank you, guys. You guys are awesome. So, happy Friday night, and I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Thank you for hanging out with us and listening to me complain and giggling at our shenanigans. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Miss Katie, for such an awesome idea. Well, it wasn't me. It was Debbie. Sark and Thank Sandy. You, Debbie, for such an awesome idea. <laughs> Whoever's idea. Thank well, you. She really gave cool. me the dress idea, and then I went bonkers and was like, dress party! Yes, whatever. I don't, I'm so thankful to all of you who participated in making the decision of this. <laughs> what <her> is. <laughs> I don't know. How do you say thank you 500 ways? Thank you. Thank you. It was beautiful just being nominated. Thank you. Oh, I'm sorry. That was my acceptance speech. <laughs> it, it was fun and different. That's what I liked about it. It was something totally not, you know, that we've done. And so that's why I was like, yes. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's why I wanted to do it too. All right. You got any announcements? I think I'm, I'm good. Um, I don't think so. All right. Peace, guys. Love you. Y'all have a great weekend.